Welcome back. Thanks for watching Good Morning Connecticut. Those college acceptance letters hit the mailboxes a couple of weeks ago, but now students are looking for some ways to save. And now President and CEO of Essex Financial, Chuck Camello, is here to talk about the best ways to save for college. Thank you so much for being here this morning. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Of course. So, I mean, if, if you didn't start saving already, yeah, if you it's kind of too late. <laughs> If you just got the acceptance letter and you haven't saved, then um, you're a little bit behind the eight ball. Yes, yes, um, but it's not impossible. So no. when should an adult or a parent, rather, start saving for their child for college? Sure. Um, you know, there's three key words when you start thinking about college savings. It's early, it's automate, and it's increase. So honestly, a parent should start thinking about college planning literally as soon as that little baby has a social security number. Wow. Because um, I think many people don't really understand the power that time has with dollars and compounding money over time. But the earliest somebody can get started is the better. And the good news is that most of these plans literally will let you start with as little as $25 or $50. So it's not a real burden to get them started. It's just the inertia of doing it. And then what should you do every couple of months or every couple of years just to make sure there is enough money? I mean, how much should we be saving for sure. our child? Yeah, so a lot of that goes down back to Stephanie to having a plan. So nowadays there's a lot of wonderful resources that a parent can use either on their own or with a financial advisor to look at the time frame, um, what their income situation is, where the child, and again, it's hard, right? You're talking about a baby. You don't know 18 years from now what's going to happen, but you can at least run numbers on a public or private college. And you can get an idea of where those tuitions where that tuition is, how it may increase over time, and what kind of investment or savings are gonna, is going to be necessary to try to get you to that goal. Um, and then once you have that plan, it, every little bit helps, as your previous guest had mentioned. Every little bit helps, and if you have that plan to try to get there, that goes a long way. You also recommend to pay attention to your expenses. Right. So the best, I mean, in my opinion, one of the best ways to save for college is a 529 plan. Um, and there's a lot of different ones out there. And some are really, really, really good, and meaning they're lower cost, they're very flexible, they've got good investment options. And there's other plans that aren't as attractive, that tend to be a little bit more expensive or more limited. So you really want to make sure that you look into to uh, the fact that you want your dollars going as far as they can for you. When you say simplify and automate your college savings, yep. what does that mean and how, sim how simplistic are we talking about yeah, here? <laughs> th that's the beauty of a 529 and saving for college. You can make it very simple. What I mean by that is the, where we see the most success for people is when they automate a plan. So what I mean by that is they're having money taken out of either a paycheck or their checking account or savings account on a monthly basis. Doesn't have to be a lot, it could be 50 bucks, it could be whatever they can afford, but it automatically goes in. So meaning they don't have to write a check, they don't have to do anything, it happens automatically. And when that goes in, that goes a long way towards having a successful outcome. Now let's say you have a 17 year old at home yep. who got their acceptance letter in the mail. How should you talk to them about college and the debt they're going to have yeah. or could have. Yeah, well, that's, it's, listen, it's, it's literally almost a national crisis at this point for some of these kids coming out of college with these crushing debt loads. Um, a big part of this at 17, you're really not thinking about that, right? You're, that's probably the last thing in the world you're thinking about. But I think the sooner that an adult or a parent can try to start talking to a kid about financial literacy, literacy being, understanding what a credit card means, understanding what, you know, if you come out of school with $100,000 in debt, how long that takes to pay off and the impact that that has, that can really hopefully educate them. And as the kids get a little bit older, the more is going to click. Great. Well, thank you so much, Chuck Camello. Yep. I hope that clicked you. with our viewers today. <laughs>